Well, also tonight, some brand new video just into our newsroom. It's a pretty good fight if you've got a three on one and he's still able to get away. As I said, some brand new video just into our newsroom of a wild chase and crash that began when a suspect stole a cruiser. Channel 3's Andrew Horansky explains how the suspect got away and shows us the dramatic moment it all came to an end. It all started when two officers with the Lorraine Police Department were sent to do a welfare check on a man with behavioral issues. When they got there, they noticed he had an outstanding warrant in Lorraine County. When they went to hand him off to a deputy there, that's when they ran into trouble. Are you a car? No. Brandon Atkinson caught the moment police say 30 year old Brandon Petrie stole their cruiser. They had arrested him at a home on Livingston Street where they had gone for that welfare check only to notice a probation violation tied to breaking and entering in Lorraine County. When they tried handing him off to a deputy at a meetup point, they say he started swinging when they started changing cuffs, sending the two Lorraine officers to the hospital while stealing their cruiser. A 30 minute chase ensued for at least 25 miles down County. County roads at speeds of more than 100 miles per hour, all while weapons were in that cruiser. It was serious. Multiple attacks on officers, um, escape, stole a car, you know, and then besides all the high speed driving and that, he's going to be looking at several charges. There's guns in there, there's usually vests. Everything a police officer would carry, obviously, it's an on duty working police officer, is in that car. The fact that he didn't hit somebody is amazing. Strips eventually stopped the cruiser along State Route 13 near State Route 2 in Huron, and that's where police finally make their arrest. Guns drawn in a field, closing in on their suspect. While police here discovered yet another outstanding warrant, this one in Cuyahoga County, tied to carrying concealed weapons. Those two Lorraine police officers tonight, we understand, have been treated and released. I'm Andrew Horansky, Channel 3 News.